needed to get some good players. They were having a very disappointed season and sitting in 5th in the AL East, something that hasn't happened in 30 plus years. A main cause of this disappointment was the injury to Aaron Judge who was out for pretty much 2 months but he returned to the lineup recently last week. One of the biggest team needs for the Yankees was left field. There's never been a guy who's been stable at that position for the team for the past couple years and they wanted to find some guy who can be penciled in that lineup every day. Unfortunately, Cody Bellinger was taken off the market due to the Cubs' recent success. Besides a left fielder, any other offensive help could have been beneficial as Judge is still getting acclimated and many other veteran mainstays such as DJ LeMayu, Rizzo, and Giancarlo Stanton have been massively underperforming compared to expectations. And that's another reason for the Yankees' disappointment on offense especially. Coming into the trade deadline, their ranks were this. They were 29th in batting average, 23rd in OPS, 18th in starter ERA, and 1st in reliever ERA. So as you can see, the main thing they needed was the ability to get on base and turn those base runners into runs. Any starter could have helped as well, but Nestor Cortez is returning and he should help with that. So a reliever should have been the last thing the Yankees were looking for when it comes to the deadline. Right before the 6pm trade deadline, the Yankees traded for Kenny Middleton, a reliever from the White Sox, in exchange for minor league right-hander Juan Carrella. And then they also picked up Spencer Howard in a trade with the Rangers for cash considerations. Kenny Middleton is a right-hander who's actually going to be a free agent, so he's going to be a rental. And this season, he has a 3.96 ERA in 36 innings with 47 strikeouts and 16 walks. Howard from the Rangers has struggled so far this season, having a 10.8 ERA, and for his career, he has a 7 ERA. Another issue with both of these trades is that the Yankees actually rather needed a lefty out of their bullpen if they were going to make a trade for a reliever, but both these guys are righties. Reviewing the Yankees trade deadline, I'm honestly pretty disappointed. Cashman in the front office kind of needed a check because this team had been going to ALCSs and there was a promise that the Yankees would bring home one since 2009, but obviously the season is not that. I'm not saying they can't make the playoffs, but they don't have what it takes to be a World Series contender. Yes, getting Judge and Cortez back will help the team a lot, but acquiring Kenny Middleton as your best trade deadline acquisition is not a best place to start when you want to make moves to bolster your lineup and rotation and win the World Series. Kenny Middleton could be a solid piece for this team, maybe get like a 6th or 7th inning in certain games, but he's not going to be a game changer for the Yankees. Right now, there are a couple games out of the playoffs, but they're going to have to jump the Blue Jays and Red Sox, and the Red Sox have been red hot recently, and the Yankees also have a pretty hard schedule down the road. So honestly, I'm pretty disappointed in the Yankees, and I'd give them a grade of F- minus if we're reviewing this trade deadline. I mean, it was a pretty horrendous trade deadline, and I'm happy the Yankees are finally realizing they can't just rinse and repeat the same roster of old veterans without getting results and coast their way to an ALDS or ALCS. They're going to have to actually get good players, make trades, build up a good farm system and use these guys wisely to make another world series and it's harder to do than they think i'm not saying it's over for the yankees but this trade deadline and season was definitely a reality check for cashman and the yankees front office and management i mean they haven't had a proper left fielder in a really long time and i think they can definitely acquire one in free agency and there's also a chance to get shohei in free agency which could be enormous a healthy judge season next year can bring back MVP type numbers and when you have an MVP type judge, you can never count the Yankees out of anything and they'll surely make the playoffs with a guy like him performing at his 2022 level. The rotation is great, same with the relievers, so they have some really good pitching which we actually haven't seen from the Yankees in a while. It's actually their lineup which needs some improvement and guys like Donaldson, Stanton, DJ LeMayu, Anthony Rizzo have all been disappointing this season so I think when they bring up some prospects, acquire some more young bats through free agency and have some bench options for these veterans who are reliable, this team can be a force in the AL East again. And I'm not saying they're a bad team, they're just underperforming. I mean, their record is still good, they're above 500. It's just not what Yankees fans want, ideally, because they think every year they're going to win a championship, but this team is not that good this year. And I think fans have actually come to that reality for the first time in a while. Thank you guys for watching my grade of the Yankees trade deadline. I gave them an F-. I know it's a bit harsh, but hope you understood why, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.